Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another nighttime pouring episode. Uh, the other day, I went to my daughter's dance concert, and in the dance concert, at one, one of the performances, these three beautiful girls twirled out wearing these long, floaty chiffon dresses, and they did a little twirl, and then they sank down gracefully and waited for the music cue, and this little kid in the audience goes, wow! It was, it was awesome. Everybody laughed and it was super, super cute. But as I looked at the girls while they were dancing, one of them was wearing this beautiful kind of silvery aquamarine dress, and one of them was wearing this dark, dark Payne's gray colored dress, and one of them was wearing a, a lighter blue colored dress. And I was like, that's a really beautiful color palette. So, <laughs> so this is inspired by those three beautiful twirling dancers and their colors. and. Uh, I think it's going to be really fun. What I want to do tonight is a dirty cup straight pour. Um, my paint is mixed kind of thin, so uh, I will show you that in a second. This is a 20 by 20 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. I have taken the back and put my push pins in, and I have painted the sides and edges with one of my colors that's the drip color. This is actually several cups of drips mixed together, and I think there's a lot of metallic cobalt in there because it seems very metallic cobalt. <laughs> uh, there's several colors in there, I couldn't tell you what they all are, but that's my Flow Extender base coat. Actually, I think I am going to put down a base coat tonight. Uh, this one is another kind of custom sort of color, combination of a few different things. Um, yeah, I couldn't really tell you exactly which ones are in there. Uh, there's some of that leftovers from the last pour that we did that you guys saw, which was, uh, what did we call the last one? one today. Oh, Tempest. Yeah, some of the blues and greens from that. And then I added a little bit of 24 karat gold to this to give it a little bit of sparkle. So there's a few different colors in here, but you know, thinned it out and we're going to use it in a pour. This one is a uh, Folk Art Treasure Gold series in Aquamarine. Nothing is super thick tonight. This is all mixed with Liquitex Gloss Medium and Floetrol. The new ones are. The mixture paints probably have some mix in them as well, but not real thin, not real thick, not real thin. Tiny mound and then sinks, melts into itself. Okay, so that's the aquamarine. I'm also using Payne's Gray, which I sort of have this obsession going with right now, because uh, when we did Tempest, there was this corner that was uh, all Payne's Gray and had these gold cells coming out. It was so pretty, just beautiful. So. That's the Payne's Gray from Golden. Then I have a mixture of Golden's Iridescent Pearl and some DecoArt Satin Enamel in pure white. Very pretty. Okay. And last but not least, we have my DecoArt Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. And this one is just a smidge thicker than the other ones. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do as we're going to put down our base. Oh no, let's layer a cup first. Okay, so we're gonna pour this into some Payne's Gray. A couple of ounces of that. And then we're gonna come in with that beautiful greenish blue teal sort of color. We're gonna pour it from up high so that it sinks. And then we're gonna do some of our pearl. Some of the aquamarine and some gold. And then we're going to do that again. Paint's gray, tealy green, pearl, aquamarine, woo. And just a shot of gold from way up high. Okay, that's a very full cup. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm waiting for the joke. <laughs> okay. We, we, we'd both be predictable. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna pour this on here, and we're gonna tilt it out to cover the canvas. Such a pretty color. Okay. 
Okay, so we're just going to tilt this a little bit, make sure any extra gets off of there. Okay, now I'm going to just rub some into my sides and edges wherever it's missing some. Alright, okay, so that looks pretty good. We're going to torch that real quick. Don't smoke your candles. We need a new tank after this episode. Okay, so we're going to take our very full cup and we're going to do a straight pour from up high. So I think I'm going to put some gold there first. I'm going to pour it into the puddle of gold. Oops. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. Here we go. gray, doesn't it? But that's okay. It's going to look very cool when we're done. We're just going to give that a second to develop. I'm actually going to take my finger and kind of swirl that maybe once more. That's better. Let's torch that real quick. a minute to develop and do its thing because all of these paints have different specific gravities and once they hit the canvas they are going to sort of balance themselves out and find their place and since we popped the air bubbles the cells are coming to the surface we're starting to get some very pretty white cells I think we're going to get some pretty gold cells in there too because we did pour into the puddle of gold remember pretty neat. I kind of wish there was a little bit more of the Payne's Gray in there, like I love that part and right there, but we'll see what happens when we open this up. Looking pretty cool. There's a lot of paint on there. Alright, let's tilt this out. Find the weight of the paint. I'm going to go around in a circle and stretch this out. take this gold off the bottom here. Okay, so let's look at this for just a second and see what's happening what we like and what we don't like. There are several things that I love. I love all the little cells that are popping up. That's awesome. That's from pouring from up high and also because we poured into a puddle of gold. 
Um, I kind of like the center where the darker Payne's gray is. This part I like, the edges. I'm not sure I like the very middle, and I'm not sure I like this. So, I think I actually want to pour this one one more time and change up the way that we use layer the cup. So I'm just going to tilt this and let some of the extra paint come off. Let's get this extra off of here since we are going to pour it again. We don't want to have a lot on there to begin with. So what I'm not crazy about is this haze right there. So I think what I'm going to do this time is layer it but I'm not going to put the pearl in until the very end because I think that's what's making that hazy-ish sort of look. So again, I'm going to start with the Payne's Gray. I'm going to do the teal. We're going to do the aquamarine. I'm going to do the gold. I'm going to go back to the Payne's Gray. So this one's going to be a lot more Payne's Gray. I put that teal in again, the aquamarine, and we're just going to do one shot of pearl from up high. Okay, and I'm not going to add more gold to the cup because we're going to pour it into a puddle of gold again. Okay, so there's our puddle of gold. I like that cup better already. Can you see the difference, eh, Troy? Not nearly as murky. Yep. Okay. But I think it's because you didn't do two rounds of color to... I did do two rounds of color. I just didn't put two rounds of white in there. All right, here we go. From up high, maybe not too high this time. Ready, each way? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Yeah, see there's a lot more of the Payne's Gray coming through. And I'm gonna actually go up higher at the end. And I'm going to catch that drip. Okay, already I can tell I like this better. I'm just going to give that a second. Can you see it expanding? And watch all these cells popping up. That's very cool. Okay, let's torch this. Okay, so just that simple thing of adding the pearl at the very end instead of throughout the center of it with a couple of different layers of it has helped immensely. We're just going to give this a second. Look how pretty those cells are. And in here, and these little ones that are all coming up. Very cool. Alright, let's tilt this out. Let's see what we got. That's looking pretty neat. What do you think, HOA? Mm -hmm. So, what do you think about this thing? That, should that come off, do you think, or is it okay? Because I wouldn't oh, mind okay. I like taking some of this off and stretching this all out more. 
this will feel like there's kind of a lot of paint on here, so we're going to take some of that bottom off and some of that edge too. Still moving fast, you've got too much on your canvas, so don't be afraid to get rid of some of it. Especially since it's taking longer for things to dry. Make sure you don't have more paint, too much paint left on your canvas. Okay, now we're just going to leave this alone for a minute and we're going to let it sit and more cells are going to start to pop up. Because now we've stretched out the edges, so I do expect more cells to start forming, especially along like this edge here will go out more, and this edge will probably have some popping up too. These are really pretty, so I don't want to mess with those. Okay, let's torch it again. Okay, I'm actually loving the way this looks. I'm very happy with this. I love this color combination, especially that Payne's Gray with the aquamarine and the gold and just a little bit of pearl and what that pearl is going to do is it's going to make everything look like it's kind of glowing which is one of my favorite things about the golden iridescent pearl so this is really pretty I like this a lot I am very happy with this just scrape our edges well, I'm assuming HOA is taking you in for a close-up Okay. I think this one would probably go this way. So that looks pretty cool. Let me scrape the table off a little bit so you guys can actually see what's going on. There's a lot of paint there, so I'm going to grab one of these nifty little containers. And we're going to scrape our drips into there. I'm loving what I'm seeing. So many beautiful gold cells, and I love the sort of wave pattern we've got. <laughs> kind of reminiscent of those pretty dancers after they twirled and just laid down. It was really, really nice. So this is pretty cool. I see the Payne's Gray. I see the Aquamarine in there. I see the gold, of course. Um, I love that little bit of pearl that's still there. This is cool. Awesome. So I'll show you this one when it's dry. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. We'll be right back. Very handsome. <laughs> Are you my cute boy? Hey, baby. Hey, want your blanket? <laughs> <laughs> That's better. That's better. Yeah, it's okay. Say bye, everybody. We'll see you soon. Let me take a nap. Okay, so, <laughs> hooray, the sun is finally shining, even though it's really cold here, and paintings are dry, so I can show you, so I'm very excited. This one was Tempest, this was the 15 by 30 gallery wrapped canvas, and it had those little parts that I love, that 
deep Payne's gray with those little gold stars coming through there. And all of these beautiful lines. Gorgeous striations. Like a storm coming through. A tempest. Really pretty stuff though in here. I love these little cells and then of course this part. Just gorgeous. So that was Tempest. And I will go get Rapture of the Deep. Okay, so this one is Rapture of the Deep. This is a 24 by 30 inch gallery wrapped canvas. Beautiful colors. We've got Payne's Gray and the Pearl, and the 24 karat gold, and that custom Viridian green color. Just did beautiful things. These lines in here with the Pearl and the gold in between the Viridian with that Payne's in the background. I love this corner. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. Beautiful, beautiful detail. And it's glowing. Sorry about the helicopter that decided to just fly over our head right now. This part up here though, you guys can see. Is it right in here? So pretty. Just that little tiny tint of green in there with the gold and the pearl. Beautiful. I love this color. These colors right here on this edge are just amazing. Very calming, very oceany, very deep. Lots of movement and flow in this one. Water. Very pretty. I really like this piece a lot. So that was Rapture of the Deep. Okay, and this lovely little piece that we did today is dry as well. So I'm very happy that I get to show you guys this one. Because this one is so cute. These cells in here, it's just, oh my gosh, just adorable. That beautiful gold, and then a little bit of that turquoisey green color coming through, and the pearl, and that beautiful Payne's Gray, such beautiful depth. I really like this piece. Gorgeous details up in here. Just that really fine veining. From the Payne's Gray. Super sparkly, shiny gold and pearl. Just beautiful. These lines in here. I hope you guys can see. I love all the little gold cells. So this was our thin paint straight pour. Came out really, really pretty. So this one is uh, <laughs> was inspired kind of by those three dancers that were twirling around like little bits of stardust. So this one is going to be stardust also, today is our 350th video. Yay! So, we're going to do a little bit of a contest uh, for our 350th video giveaway. So to be entered for our giveaway, all you have to do is comment on this video, Seven Swans of Swimming, <laughs> and uh, share the video, please, onto your social media platforms. I would really appreciate that. And um, like the video and leave a comment and that's it you will be entered to win for our 350th video giveaway which I'm so excited about wow <laughs> that's a lot um, but they've been so much fun and I've really enjoyed making videos for you guys and I hope you've enjoyed watching me play so this turned out really really neat go ahead and enter your comments plus seven swans of swimming to be entered for our giveaway and uh, well, maybe we'll give away this little piece. Hang on, let me show you. This was the little bonus convexo round that I poured. Really, really pretty with that Payne's Gray and those cells. The gold ring, just like a halo around that tiny bit of that light aquamarine. Beautiful cell structure on this one. Very, very pretty. So this is a 12 inch convexo round. But that's pretty cool. So this will be one of our giveaway pieces. We might actually do three. Thanks for being here with us today, guys. Uh, I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. Come on, Drew Bubble. <laughs> Dexter, come on. Let's go, we're gonna go to bed. <laughs> Come on.
No, don't talk to Mama that way. Don't talk back. <laughs>